welcome back. And as you can tell by the surroundings, I'm not home. Uh, me and the family is actually in Galveston. And uh, by the way, if you ever come through Galveston, uh, stop off through Dallas, Houston, somewhere besides here, because the beer selection is awful. Uh, the only place I found singles was the, besides, you know, like, the typical bullshit Bud Light, even some of the malt liquors, but it was this Asian Ram place, and, uh, three bucks for this, but I got a six-pack for about nine, so it's kind of a rip-off, but I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of money, and she, she ensured me that they had the best selection of beers in the uh, downtown area, which uh, consisted of probably three or four coolers. They had more coolers for their soda pops than they did beer. But uh, this is Hapadillo IPA, by, uh, Carbock Brewing Company in Texas. It's 6.6%. Uh, there you go. I had a splurge and go fancy. Picked up uh, three total beers. Be here three nights, might as well do a beer a night. Hmm. It's a pretty good golden brown, actually. Kind of got like a murky look to it. It's more uh, pine forward, kind of a little dusty, actually. Got that right there for you. It's got kind of a kind of a dusty kind of character to it. Might be the malts. Hmm. I like this. For being, you know, six point six percent, it does have a alcohol hit like it's probably in the eight percents but it, I think it it helps with that uh fucking can I think it helps with that that pine it's not really dry it's, it's very slightly on the tongue this is overall pretty good you're definitely getting the uh, the breadiness. It's not slick. It's not too resiny. I'd say it's a uh, medium light on the mouth fill. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a good drinker. Now that I'm about halfway th through with this can, it the uh, the alcohol hit really as bad as it was before. Yeah, it's really nice. Another one of those uh, pizza beers. I like how the head is too. It's uh, they let you know that it's got a consistency to it. And once it hits your mouth, you know what I'm talking about. I guess I'll run it down for you. You the pine first off. And it fades into a slight alcohol into a more of a I'd say it's more of a bread crust I 
washes away. It's not slick. It's not dry. Uh, I believe on Beer Advocate this was getting like 82 or 86. Um, yeah, I could, I could agree with that. Eight and a half. I might even hit it a nine. If it was a little colder, you know, these fridges here suck ass, so. Yeah, these, these fridges here are awful. These drinks pretty much the same. Um, let's see if you can guzzle it. Yeah, the alcohol doesn't, uh, doesn't burn you. So if this was sitting in the mid 30s, you could down a whole can. Uh, the, the hops uh, aren't so strong that they would choke you up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give it a. I'll go ahead and give it an eight and a half. So we'll be seeing you. Time to get to bed. It's uh, eight thirty-five, and I've been up since four in the morning. Be seeing you.